briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The complex saga of the 2019 lawsuit, Amazon.com Inc. v. Commer, began over a contentious definition of what constitutes intangible property under Section 482 of the Tax Code. This section is meant to monitor income from controlled transactions and prevent tax avoidance. When Amazon shifted strategy in 2005 and 2006, it set the stage for a dynamic legal showdown. In a bid to reduce its tax payments, Amazon restructured its European businesses, moving assets and income to its newly formed subsidiaries. By doing so, the US-based online retailer ended up paying lower taxes for its European operations, a move which the IRS didn't consider fair. At the heart of this decision was the transfer of pre-existing intangible assets from the parent company to the newly formed or restructured European subsidiaries. According to regulations, those subsidiaries were expected to compensate Amazon through a financial arrangement, a cost-sharing agreement. However, a wrinkle appeared when the IRS disputed the valuation of the buy-in payment made by the subsidiaries for these assets. They argued it was insufficient leading to the question of how the value of intangible property should be determined under Section 482 of the tax code. In contrast, Amazon contested the valuation, setting the stage for a courtroom dramatics. In a crucial decision, the court sided with Amazon, ruling that intangible property does not include residual business assets. They upheld this definition when establishing Amazon's tax liabilities for its European subsidiaries, and thus vindicated Amazon's methodology for asset valuation. In a significant blow to the commissioner's argument, it was found that the payment for residual business assets is not inherently considered intangible property. The tax court's decision, therefore, stood affirmed in Amazon's favor. The ruling, while technical, sets an important precedent and clarified regulations on tax code interpretation in subsidiary cost-sharing agreements. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for Visit lse.law Elevate your mind Leave the stress of class